welcome to Vincenzo's Black from Singapore. So you like it? No, you know how to do it. It's really good. Ready? Ready? Yeah! yeah. Three, two, one. Uh, Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate and Friends. The Amigos. The Amigos. Today we have a great friend, Juan Carlos. Perfect. Carlos. <laughs> Juan. 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 Carlos. Carlos. <laughs> From Spain. From Spain. And what are we doing today? Today we are going to do a typical dish that I'm sure you will know. It's uh, called tortilla de patatas or potato omelette <laughs> is very popular all around from the south to the north of Spain. It's a classic. It's a classic. You don't it's go wrong with a classic. Yes. We want to learn those tricks from a real Spanish, from, from the authentic. Spain. From the mom's heads. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what Juan Carlos has to share with us. Let's go. Let's ready. So one of the things that we have not to forget, it's very important that the pan is not sticky. If the pan is sticky, we are going to ruin the dish because we cannot turn the tortilla. For, for two or three people, we are going to need three potatoes, high quality, five eggs, and one onion and salt. So the first thing that we do is we cut the potatoes. So you cut them first half, and then you do the quarters and then you start to slide them. Not very thick, not very thin. Because if they are very thin, they are going to fry very, very quick and they have not consistent. So I think this is the best. And if they are very thick, they will not cook really well. So they will be rare and you don't want them to be rare. The thing that you can do also while you are cutting the potato is put the oil in the pan and in the fire, but very, very low. As I told you before, you don't want that it's very, um, very warm, very hot, sorry, because it has to be very slow. You have to poach the potato, not deep fry them. Is it extra virgin olive oil? Extra virgin olive oil. Well, if you know olive oil, you know when it's extra virgin that it's this depth of the taste and it's very interesting. So you really want high quality products. Okay, now I'm going to put some salt. Once you cut all the potatoes, potatoes are cut, the oil is warming up, so we put the salt on the potatoes. We are going just to fry or poach the potatoes. Very slow again, slow, fl uh, slow flame, slow fire, not very strong. So. How long do you cook it for? It has to be between 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now we are going to slice the onion, so we peel them, cut them. This is a love brown onion. So onion is very good and very healthy for you. And we use them a lot in Spain. I guess in Italy also you yes. use them. So now the potato is poaching, slow, and we are going to add the onions. Some people they like to do the onions separately. Some people they prefer to do it together. For me I prefer together because it really takes the taste of the the, make the, the potato take the, the taste of the onion. So the potatoes and the onions just cook it for around 20 minutes. It depends on the quantity, also a little bit. And But yes, 20 minutes you see the onion start to be soft and the potatoes also they are soft, like poached, like if they were boiling. And that's it. I think 10 minutes and we can mix it. And then we have to cook the tortilla. That is a tricky thing also. So now uh, the potato is being cooked, as you can see, it's poached and the onions is already. So we are going to drain the oil because we don't want that the potato and the onions they are too oily because that will be too heavy. So careful. The next step is to wait for the potatoes to get cold. You don't need that it's cold, cold, cold. You leave it just a couple of minutes like this. So now it's time to break the eggs put some extra salt, a little grub, and mix them really, really well. Voila! Mm, love potatoes. We are mixing all the paste 
this kind of poached onions with potato. We are mixing really well with the egg because after when it's all mixed, we are going to put it back on, on in the pan. Stir very, very well so it doesn't get stuck yes. to the bottom. No, and yes, movement and like that is all more or less cook, cook, cook. Um, Juan, uh -huh. looks fantastic. Thank you. Wow, sensational. Oh my God, the real deal. Your kitchen smells sensational. A mí me encanta la tortilla de patatas y siempre con un buen vaso de vino tinto. You leave like five, ten minutes, and I could check in, see? And as I told I you, check. yes, as I told you also, is the taste how you want it. Some people like when it's a little bit burned, like a little bit cooked, and some people like when it's very white. So we have a discussion with my family. My brother likes like when it's very white, and I like when it's a little bit burned. So he always says that I overcook the, the tortilla, but I like it in that way. So it's different. It's a little bit, it's a taste that is like the meat. Somebody likes more rare, rare, some medium. So now we have to turn the tortilla. It's quite tricky. You don't want the tortilla flying around. So you just put the dish here, the plate on the top, take the tortilla flat from the fire, turn it. Voila! Wow! And then... That's amazing. Yes. The perfect color. You have a great lots of skills. You're a great cook. <laughs> I guess you learn from the best. As I told your you, dad. my dad and my uncle they were chefs. Hello dad. You also were in the Louis Vincenzo's plate. Yeah, Louis Vincenzo. So that's the reason why. <laughs> Vincenzo's plate is helping me. The super <laughs> cape. <laughs> By Vincenzo's plate delantal. How you say in English? Edburn. Edburn. I'm going to use it every day. <laughs> so now, if we don't want that the tortilla is very like overcooked, like we want that a little bit, like it's a little bit running inside, I think that will be ready. So we just take again the dish like this and turn it. Ah, yeah, I can see that. So you got one side is uh, cooked, yeah. and the other side is. A little yeah. bit less cooked, so yeah. it, keeps it, it keeps it moist. It smells amazing. Can't wait to taste it. Okay. Finally, we can have this Spanish tortilla. I can't wait. I'm Made so excited. Con tanta pasión, con mucha pasión. Con mucha pasión. <laughs> a little bit nervous, I don't know. He's like, I never cook for a real chef, so... Oh, a real chef. Oh, for our friends there. And for our friends. <laughs> Who understand a lot about food. Uh -huh. I hope it looks very, very nice. Mm. It's not running. Look at the perfection of that. Look at the potato, you can see that it's a bit red, the way you like it. Yes. Mm. Much. Yes, yes. Can will you please, guy, write a comment for Mr. Juan Carlos and say thank you, muchas gracias very much for sharing this family secret with us. And of course, put a like in the video and subscribe to Vincenzo's Plate. So let's try. Let's try. E ora si mangia. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Now we can eat. Let's see. <laughs> Buonissimo! Very good. <laughs> Don't eat all. It's fluffy, mm -hmm. moist. Yes. It's bravissimo. Mm. Grazie, manico mio, grazie. Grazie. No, oh, grazie to you. Mm. Muchas gracias to you and to la gente. I hope you will enjoy the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Hasta luego, guys. Adios. Adios. Sí. Buon appetito. Te aproveche. Mm. Mm. This is delicious. This one is nice, this one is good. See, you can do it more running. If you've been to Spain, if you've been to Spain, you let us know. know what's your favorite place in Spain? Beautiful.